you know, as far as the expectation setting and, you know, who's making the decisions and are they business savvy and everything like that, I think we're seeing that more often than not, they are not. But getting into, you know, what you're saying as far as, you know, having to wait so long, I hope that these NFT projects, even if they are setting the expectation right and correctly, that they are uh, with able to stand a crash of the NFT market. Let's just say sometime in 2022, it takes a pretty big dip and the floor price really lowers for all projects, not just one or two, but all of them. I hope at that point these uh, these these groups can still you know, rally around, still have their community, diamond hand it through, even though the, the floor price is going down, and then see it through to the other side because dips dips happen on any market. Yep. That's the pro that's the thing that scares people and they don't prepare them for it. Like when the dip happens, what I hate is that uh, the, some of the products that I've been in is the owners just go ghost. You know, they're there or even the mods like I'm, I'm in one right now, the Shiba Social Club, and the, it's a great project. The, I mean, the art's amazing, but the owners went ghost for three days right after the reveal. Like they put one announcement out, people panicked and then the floor dropped to butt like it, it literally just dropped to nothing. I was like, it's, you know, the art's amazing, though. The people are great. Like the community was great. But if they're not hearing from the owners, oh, man. You I mean, know, like I'm, people I'm, freak out. I'm in crypto pretty deeply, uh, m maybe more so than NFTs. And uh, it happens all the time. You'll see, yep. you know, a red week will happen, not a red day necessarily, but a red week will happen. And all of a sudden you just see community, you know, you know longstanding community members and, and dev team members and, you know, mods. And they are out of there. And I want to say, like, what did you expect? Did you expect every week to be, you know, a 300 percent gain? That That's not yeah. It's not, fit, you know, it's not realistic. No. Not On a at all. side note, you know what, else, what else is also kind of odd, or not odd, but but hard? Um, by the way, hello, Lieutenant Commander Stricker. Uh, I see you in the audience. I'd like to always say hi to the uh, corpsman. Um, is that these these DAOs, like these communities that have thousands and thousands of people in them, you're going to piss off or upset some people no matter what. Yep. And additionally, if you're like, like you said earlier, um, that no one really here in this space has like a business acumen to drive a project. So if you're basing your business acumen on what the lay person in a community is saying, is that really going to be substantial later on? Like, is that going to be something that can last? Like, can you really, we don't know yet, but can you really create a project based upon what the community wants to do if that community doesn't really have a background in business? Man, I've thought that same thing just in, in with just trading. Is yeah. Sometimes they say follow the crowd. Well, you know, whenever the crowd is selling and it's all red, sometimes they say don't follow the crowd and, you know, buy. That's a great buying opportunity. Or when everybody's all happy and, and it's uh, the charts rising, sometimes that's the great time to sell. So that gets yep. into business decisions. If going counterculture to what everybody else is doing or counter I say, to what everybody else is doing is the right decision. Sometimes in business, I mean, what if everybody wanted, you know, Apple to make foldable phones whenever uh, Samsung started doing that? It yep. shows that maybe that's not the right decision. So I guess what I'm saying is just because the crowd says it, so maybe maybe DAOs will have that problem of making, you know, group think decisions rather than the right decisions. Yeah, you have to do what's best for yourself at that point. And that's what I always tell people now, and especially what I'm learning with these NFTs is you have to do the same thing as the market. You can't just like the, the that that bull up run is not going to stay there forever. So if you aren't going to if you are ready to stay in a project long term through the dips and ups and downs, then you have to just just take your profit and and go and don't look back. And if you are ready to stay in that 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 downward trend and watch the feel the project out, then you just got to expect it and know the market's going to dip, the project's going to dip, and be in for the long run. Just don't look at the floor until I say a month or two later. So if you really loved it, you you buy more, right? I mean, exactly. Really, you, you buy the dip. It, 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 exactly. By the way, we are now really fully rocking because now I have uh, Christine with us in here. Hi. She's the only thing this one here. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, guys. Hey. I'm so, I'm so sorry. I like I was on the phone with my accountant, and they were trying to convince me to sell all of my stocks that I have for a loss. And I'm like, no, I don't want to. 
And they're like, yeah, you have to, to offset this and that. And I'm like, no, I'm not. And so it took them a while. And then I looked at the time and I'm like, okay, fine. I will. I have to get off the phone. No. Oh, yeah, you are. There's a little bit of personal alpha for a Christine. Right there. You are going to have to uh, sell some at a loss. Man, that sucks. But uh, yes, I know you got to do what you got to do. Right. So you guys, off topic um, with the NFTs really quick. But if you guys um, have any stocks that are at a loss, make sure you sell them by December 31st to offset your capital gains. But by the way, I also brought up Brian up here, and he has a great community with Galaxy Heroes. Um, hi, Brian. Hey, how you doing? Good. Good. Thanks for having me uh, join here. Yeah. Talk to us about like how you built your – because your community for GHC is pretty good. And we were talking about – correct me if I'm wrong, guys, because I jumped in late. But um, were you guys talking about how all these NFT projects and stuff are led without um, – a lot of them screw you were saying don't have a lot of business sense correct yeah so um you know galaxy so i'm the owner developer of, of galaxy heroes um we we really started off with a, a a token i mean you can call it a meme token if you want but we you know we launched with with really just a staking utility um but i had the vision to really expand and try and bring multiple utilities to the the space and obviously nfts is is one of them so you know every you know i always say this to people you know growing up everyone's always wished uh they had a superpower or they liked a superhero or whatnot so i really wanted to incorporate that into the crypto space so that's really where galaxy heroes came into play so we launched, we currently have a, um, 10 different characters, um, and there's a total of 5,000 NFTs that we, we sold out uh, in about an hour, um, and, it, and everything is on the BSC network. Um, and we actually just opened up our NFT marketplace a few weeks ago where everyone is able to trade um, their NFTs, and all the listing fees and transactional fees actually go to the holders of our nfts so we're trying to reward our nft holders you know for people that are holding uh to really get some sort of incentive that way and in the next couple weeks we're actually opening up our marketplace to the public where i'm going to try and collaborate with different um projects nft projects and whatnot to launch on our platform and then all the NFT holders of Galaxy Heroes will be able to reap the rewards from uh, transactional sales and listing fees and things like that. Um, because I really haven't seen anything out there. I mean, I'd love to even take a small percentage of OpenSea, you know, on their volume and bring it to the to the BSC side, but also reward people. You know, I'm not, you know, obviously I like to make money, but I also a community and help others to start be able to uh, get money in the crypto space. You know, a lot of people, you know, don't have much, you know, maybe they only have a couple hundred dollars invested, but if they bought an NFT and they stake it and over the course of a year, I mean, who knows what that could bring. That could bring thousands and thousands of dollars of passive income to them. And that's what I'm trying to do. Um, and I think by doing that, it'll also bring up the, the the uh the rarity and also the value i'm sorry i should say the value of our nfts as well because only our nfts will be able to be staked and get the passive income from bnb from all the transactional uh and listing fees um on our marketplace um and actually our nfts also are going to be incorporated on in our play to earn game that actually is launching on december 30th in a couple of days so lots of utilities, the metaverse, I have avatars being created as we speak now. I've land in, in the sandbox. I have our, our avatars being uh, ready to go for that as well. Um, and I'm in a couple other um, metaverses as well. But I really would love to be one of the, one of the best uh, BSC projects with the most utilities um, you know, on the Binance Smart Chain Network. Um, so that is my goal. Um, we we currently are around uh, 40 million market cap on the BSC side and the Ethereum side. I do have a bridge. Uh, so both sides are sitting ar roughly around 40 million market cap right now as we speak. So uh, real quick, if I can just say a few comments. Yeah, of course. So I'm, I'm pretty deeply involved in the BSC network through a variety of other projects. And okay. uh, one of the things that I think will be probably your biggest challenge 
is the NFT community, man, they love ETH. Man, oh, they love dude, I know. It's it insane. is a, 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 they're married. They are committed. They've, they've renewed their vows. They are, that, that'll be a tough uh, uh, separation to make happen because I've got several NFTs on the BSC network, but none of them are major projects like the ones that I hold on Ethereum. Um, oh, absolutely. And not even in the same stratosphere, to, to, to be honest. Um, so I think out of all of the things that you're offering, and that, that does, all the things sound, sound neat that, that you're offering, I just think being, uh, getting that moved over will probably be where most of your attention will have to be you know, spent. No, absolutely. So, so two things here. One is just, uh, I think it was yesterday or the day before yesterday, I actually bought a, a board eight kennel club NFT and I'm giving it away and I'm trying to just bring awareness that NFT projects can help support other NFT projects. So, um, you know, we're all in this, you know, hopefully to, to win, uh, together in some way, um, you know, just getting more people to the crypto space. I think that'll be a win for everyone. So that's one thing. I actually currently have a giveaway for that. Um, and it's also just to bring um, vision to that there are gonna there are NFTs on, you know, the BSC side that, you know, are pretty dope, I think. So it's not just, you know, NFTs are only on the Ethereum side. I know um, you got, um, you know, NFTs going on other platforms as well. Um, but I think BSC side is really like, the lowest part of the network that has NFTs. And I, and I don't understand why. I mean, you have such low gas fees. It's like, it makes sense in my vision to yeah, at least have some projects on it that are worth uh, investing in. But yes, I, I understand the Ethereum side is like 99.9% uh, of the, the NFTs. Part. And and the other parts, Polygon at that, <laughs> you know, the, the, you know, the, the part and, you know, what I'm trying to say, second place, mm -hmm. Would, would be Polygon. But one thing you are able to offer that I think is unique is in a lot of the BSC tokens, they'll have an, an auto reward mechanism where it's, you know, if you hold, you get some transactional volume that comes back to you as the holder of a BSC token. And that goes with numerous ones. I don't know that I've seen it on an NFT project yet, which is what you're trying to do, it sounds like. So, that's, Well, I, I am doing it. Unique. It's already done. Yeah, so, yeah. That's, that's unique. Yeah. Exactly. So I'm trying to think of creative ways to stand out amongst it, amongst the other BSC. I feel like in the BSC side, it's near impossible to have a project last longer than two to four weeks without it just going straight to nothing. Be sure to listen in to all of our weekly shows and follow us on Twitter for updates.